far in air. Like... <laughs> yeah, I'm a full screen. Oh, that don't full screen. Oh. Okie dokie. Each season will get three of us. Okay. Well, I... Let's start with Coronation, shall we? Yeah, this is your mother. The main player's character. I'm sure most stories, but not all. Kingdom stats. Kingdom stats. Defiance. The noble twist. Okay. Wow. Okay. I wonder if you just chose literally something, like something you would say. Like the one thing that like the one As it is exactly. tradition, the council will decide what happens to your coronation. Um. <laughs> Shall we call the nobles in? Hell yeah. Certain choices, not all choices that change stats have the indicator. These are the upcoming choices your nobles will vote on. Each of these may change stats in some way. A monarch can change how the vote is run with a law. You may use one mock or vote, try using your veto on one option you dislike. Yeah. When the vote opens, nobles vote on the choices. Timer. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, yeah. Host a Bionish parade, Jedlers. Uh, Bion. <laughs> <laughs> Let's throw the king into the river. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it makes the stability go up. Exactly. Wait, that go. I'm in the river. Yes. <laughs> Oh, you towed it. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Um, Mama, you can choice. Only, you can o no, you can only choose one of those. Oh, I can only pick one? Yeah, okay, well, you're not throwing me in the river. You can either be. But that's the only thing that I care about. Damn it. Okay, so, <sighs> close to lavish parade, our money goes down. Our commoners go down, or our farming goes down. <laughs> I'd say. I'd say the banquet would probably be the best. We yeah, yeah, probably, because then we get, because then we get farming and we can make more money. Yeah. Well, so yeah, what? Do you want to vote for that? Yeah. I mean, mine's a bit more faster. <laughs> Oh, so did you deal me? But who was it? Stat changes. The noble spare no expenses and your favorite's table grub groans under the weight of it all. Home roasted peacock, a boy's head stuffed with a swan tongue. An entire whale turning on a spit. Just decreased. Oh. It's yeah. a meal fit for a king, which is, well, you suppose what you are. Okay, so that uh, is 300 gold. Go. The path to victory. Your airing ambition. A monarch must acquire an airing. Complete their ambition to win the game. Okay. Because you can see the use for not required. <laughs> Winning the game. Complete your ambition before a scheme or rebellion. It serves you. Your majesty, the first two years of your reign are most difficult. And I'm pretty much the correct scheme as to Turn their own puppet, claim it in your place. Dude, they have like a falcon on their arm. That's like. These clothes can't steam their way out of paper bags. Okay, but. What the hell? Okay, okay, that, that word yeah. means war. That means war. Like, better kings than they have to talk So, I, I say that we throw them into a river. Yeah. Or something of the like. Did you think those schemes you must. Secure an heir and prove that you are worthy of the crown. Let's poison the question. The oh. question is, when you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? As a conqueror, as a peacekeeper, as the greatest king who ever lived, as the father of the nation, as the architect of a new god, what do I want? Don't say peacekeeper, because it'll be Star Wars all over again. <laughs> architect. Great. Architect. Yeah. 
Master Skywalker! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Interesting, I just served for the welfare of the commoners. <laughs> or are you just hoping for a favorable passage in history? Wait, what did you choose? He chose I farming. Um, oh, thank you. I'm already high. The counts are already highest in that. Oh, God. I suggest over the next few years you focus on improving the kingdom's overall farming as much as possible. Oh, God. I do have an arrow to return to discuss how ambition is progressing. Okay, cool. I have my ambition. I should hope I don't die. <laughs> now that you're king, your first duty is to meet with the Council of Nobles. The nobles hail from all across the kingdom, the Desmond East, the Wealthy Coast, and of course, the Bleak Marsh. March? What? Yeah. Mar March? Oh. You better do it with March East. Or else we are going to try and overthrow you. Don't be Which rude. one? What am I? Oh, okay. I appear it's too much. <laughs> um, I like the I have a film that I introduced myself to all of you. Yeah, that is do, do So purple. I'm gonna... Purple. I'm gonna start with... Oh, that was the coast. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh! <laughs> okay, I guess Minis is the king of the coast. Hell yeah. A pleasure. Your honest majesty, I hope to see our kingdom prosper. Okay, cool. Barons of the March. Me. The exiled It's funny king. that the Baron is an exiled king. <laughs> Aww. I didn't get to be a count. And with that, the introductions are done. Cool. Now quick end season to advance. End season! Teams. Each region will now vote for one of three randomly selected teams. Oh, heck yeah. Teams are made up of three stages with specific stat requirements. As of all three scheme stages, places the region's claim on the throne, winning the game. Heck yeah. Hey, so you know that introduction you did? Well, we didn't like it. <laughs> huh. See you. What if the barons have marched back down to a fight? Never. I know they'll do whatever it takes to put me, your rightful queen, on the throne. Oh, I gotta press the button! <laughs> 24 uh, seconds. Uh. 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 Oh no. What? Uh. What lower our military? What the heck, bro? I. 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 Uh. Oh, all of these are bad. I don't know, I'm just. You know, don't be indecisive, Corgi. <laughs> Well, I mean, I am just a keeper of corgis. Wait, what? What's that? Dude? Oh, did he just, just randomly pick one of them to tie to win? I, I, mean, I, I okay. I mean, I he, he, is, he is technically the leader, I think. Like me? Yeah, I think so, because you have that black bar oh. on your shield. Wow. Oh, okay. The man's plan to swap the real king for a perfect doppelganger. First, they must gain the trust of the spy master. Spy master. Do the The man's must be the region with the lowest defiance. Oh, Ooh. that makes hmm. sense. Okay. So we have to have the lowest defiance to win. I see. My fellow counts, in ancient times, the East with its own proud kingdom. We can bring back these days of glory. But not while the false king Alias wears the crown. Possession? I'm afraid of that one. Okay, blood ritual or intimidation sounds fun. I'm gonna go intimidation, personally. Yeah, well, wait, no. <laughs> there's gonna be a low defiance, and then there's gonna be a raise others defiance. The blood ritual. Honestly, either of these sounds good to me. Okay. At least I'm not getting possessed. <laughs> Intimidation. Nice. The Count's plan to hold the King hostage in his own palace first. They must distract the Spy Master. The Court. The Count's must rage other reasons to fight to a combined total of at least six. 
I'm sure in other regions we can throw it in, in four seasons. Oh, like I'm just so just casually holding a skull. <laughs> Fellow patrons of the coast, my claim to the throne is far more legitimate than that king of King Shane. Something must be done. Can I just put my name as King Shane? I, I didn't want to just put my name. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. So raise own trade, lower trade, lower own trade. I'd say conspiracy would probably be best or corruption. I think we're the best in person. <laughs> I feel like lowering our treasury would be the easiest. Do you want to... No, it lowers the kings, yeah. I think. Yeah, you're trying to drain me. Five seconds. Um, okay. I could Two. I could make a joke out of that so easily. Yeah, I agree. And luckily you're not going to. Yeah, we'll see. Good. Not yet. The participants plan to sink the king under an ocean of debt. Got it. To advance their scheme, the patrons must lower the treasury to fifteen hundred or less in two seasons. Got it. Cool. Okay, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure the the patricians are based off of Italy. The barons off of like um, Romania or Russia, one of the two, yeah. and then the counts um, off of like. India or something, I can't tell yet. <laughs> I'm the bastard of an offshoot. Bastard offshoot, treacherous half sister, and distant cousin. <laughs> That's hilarious. Got it. Oh, okay, let's let's do this. Petitioner from afar. The Majesty. There's a petitioner here to see you today. Not exactly sure where she comes from. Uh, what does she want? We'll see you soon enough. This is a proposition for you. Where? Um, just a purely scratch. That's not helpful. <laughs> uh, tell me more. These ships are docked in the harbor to the west. Their holds are packed with gills, muskets, and gunpowder, and they each boast a full battery of cannons. They're all yours in return for a small favor. Muskets, a small favor. <laughs> okay, the, <laughs> no, 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 no. it seems like a DM trying to improvise, but also didn't like make a backstory for one of the characters. <laughs> exactly. This is funny. Muskets, a <laughs> small Okay. What is the sake? I only wish to stay in the kingdom with your blessing and protection. I can show your soldiers how to use the weapons, of course, and avoid any accidents. Yes, call it out. Yes. Provide safe harbor in exchange for muskets. Reject the offer and send her away. Confiscate the weapons and... Okay, I know what one I am viewing. <laughs> there. I think we all have chosen that one. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, let's say reject them. I would want to read it, though. If you think about it, this will help everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Then we get the muskets and can use it against them. Yeah, true. Except it also. Oh, wait, actually, no, the king doesn't have a military. Never mind that. We are his military. <laughs> <laughs> See, everyone. Heck yeah. Everyone gets Four. something good out of this. Did you give a twist. Just by purchasing a metal dress paint at 500 yards, the council clearly made the right decision. Oh yeah. Nice. Actually, I'm pretty sure that one would be false, Chief, not gonna lie, because... Well, actually, it depends on the type. I own a lot of... Uh, horrors in the east. Oh, yeah, don't, don't worry, that, that, that's, that's just, um, that's just my cat. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty, a monster has been stalking my farms and night. It's smashing down with doors and cottages and feasting on the peasants inside. Hey, cat, man. 
A cat's just hungry. Oh, the cat's just hungry. How many victims was it? Okay. Let's tell a garbled story about green fangs and the amount of blood soaked in her. Jesus Christ. Or that. Your cat is killing people. Your own people. I, I don't know. Really you send it to the coast. People. If, you're going, hungry. if you're going to call a massacre. <laughs> Those Some choices have uncertain outcomes called challenges. These can either be randomly based on a stat. The percentage shows the choice of the chance of success. Oh, interesting. This is no concern of ours. Offer a substantial bounty. Or send the court's army, or the council armies, to deal with the abomination. <clears throat> this is no. Hmm. Let's try the king's favor be. But do not need to favor anything. Just leave this to you guys. <laughs> You're giving us all the options. Um, substantial bounty. Yeah, let's like, send the council army. Puts responsibility on other people. Hey, that's my army. Yeah. <laughs> You're the count. I have no need for this. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I forgot that. I forgot that we were the counts. Well, is that a fifty? Sorry about that. Win rate though. Fifty-five percent. I like those odds. Yeah. I like those oh, odds. I didn't think this can cross over to the barons. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it failed. The regent marches in circles for weeks through swamps and mud. Like, but I hate it. At least it didn't lower the military. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We should have had a bounty. Yep, there it is. Uh, yep. Oh! It went down at any time. Many soldiers appear to have brought back some matter of disease from the bog. No, this is just my army. You just lost your entire muskets. Oh, wait. This is only me. Oh, good. Okay. How was it? Their cock and pain too weak to hold their swords. Meanwhile, the monster attacks continue to run into the east. You hear reports that it no longer confines its attacks at the night time. Soon, but not the thing! What? I wouldn't give a that. That's what you get from <laughs> using your kingdom off of the summons. I think we're at a disadvantage as pessimists. <laughs> no. Now that you're a king, you need personal protection. Why? I could find my sword into your heart right now. Why not? Do it. Nice. <laughs> make, make, make I suppose so. Alright, guys, keep you safe from such dangers, Your Majesty. Unfortunately, this is a political decision. One of my options. Each region offers a selection of lead guards, the counts, knights, of the order of the Drown Friends, champions of the arena, and Battle hard and battle okay. And carefully, your majesty. These guards all of you will be divided between you and your, the region. Of course, you could just hire foreign mercenaries. They'd be the right to call them. Foreign mercenaries will literally directly put you um, out of money. I see. And that would be <laughs> into, I believe, the um, conspiracy. Of so I, 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 my, mine doesn't have anything to do with that. So, I personally think you should spread your enemies across the land so that we can all like converge when we want to. Eastern Knights sounds pretty good. Yeah, at the current moment, the Eastern Knights have the best chance. The Order of the Drowned Rose are highly respectful. They understand palace etiquette. But it's been years since they fought an actual battle. <laughs> they mostly do great opponents these days. I wish I was a baron. Tell me about the coastal gladiators. During the blowborn crooks, who turn themselves into celebrities through the skill of chopping other to bit other people to bits. They're vain and selfish. Um, they, 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 they sound very well easy to manipulate and turn veterans of the march. These soldiers have fought more battles than they had hot dinners. They'll be uncouth, no doubt, and bored to death will fly to the powers, but they're loyal and tough as nails. Loyalty is invaluable. That's true. Loyalty is invaluable. I will be loyal to the barbarians. 
Hmm. Uh, hmm. Beer Barons. Okay, I don't want to raise Defiance. And the current moment. Okay, so we have them, them, and them. The Eastern Knights. I mean, honestly, I probably the lower my military, which would be better for everyone else. So actually, don't don't pick mine. Okay, the ones of the march. You are the strongest at the moment. Huh. Everyone has this defense right by two. Alright. The veterans arrive a few weeks later and march into the throne room in perfect formation before lining up behind your throne. Hands on their sword hilts. Each soldier sports a bigger scar than the last. Oh, shit. Oh, Alright. <laughs> you messed up. Uh, maybe I didn't mess up yet. No, you didn't. Although, technically, the doppelganger plan yeah. in current moments is that buildings. No one can use their wealth to ride on buildings in any region. Oh. Each of which affects the stat. Stand for the auction, where only the two most funded buildings are chosen. When the auction is open, nobles can plunge through the browser in increments of 100. Okie dokie, so we have the Grand Bazaar, the Theater, the Cathedral, the Deer Park, the Aqueduct, and the Stadium. Grand Bazaar, everybody, everybody, get your auctioning signs up. Alright. A three, a two, a one. Chalk and start. Hmm. Hmm. So faith is good, but that means they can summon more stuff. Could do the Grand Bazaar with our authenticity being bad. Hmm. The Grand Bazaar raises Dre. Dre is important. That is true. Yeah, I already pledged 100 for that one. Do that one. We can do the Aqueduct, why not? I'm also going to do theater. All right, I think my bets are done. Yeah. So train on the authority. Okay. I I guess I can work with that. Well, I can't back that down. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh! I added one more just in time. Holy smokes! Amount funded. Uh, there we go. And see what I see. Oh, sweet. Everything's in the capital today. The ceremony of friendship. You have not even clicked on mine yet. Your Highness, you know what the Baron... You, you know that the Barons are... Un... Un... I can't read. I'm failing with... Oh. I think I can read what I see. Isn't it time we get a little reward for our fidelity? Ooh, okay. Holy smokes. Switch the barons with gold and jewels, which will increase my authority. You know, it's burning its heart for protecting me. Party, one would be amazing. The yeah, the barons that are yeah. military that's supporting you, I would personally recommend giving them resources. Huzzah, thank you, my liege. Just wreck the treasury. <laughs> we might have to do that. I am still mama. above the danger level, though. I am above the danger level. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> Finding a spouse. Ooh. In the twisty passages of your castle, you can avoid your butt. There's the nobles. He was my master, but there's one person you can avoid. Your mother. Oh, God. <laughs> Why haven't you found a spouse yet? It's been almost a year. I feel like you're crazy! Is there fucking pet urgency? Of course, don't worry, I'll take the living hell out of here. Oh, the. Choose Matt, or do you not mind? Choose Matt, Annie. I don't want to do that. Do it. I'm not into it. Choose Matt, do it. This is my kingdom, and I'm not into dudes. Fair. I like that. Excellent. I'll send out messages to the most influential noble family in the kingdom, and we'll see what they have. I have officially put a stake out on my head by order, but 
We'll see where this goes. Like Choose you. the counts. I like your Choose name as Queen Mother. <laughs> because, Captain, that you're allowed to stay in the capital, the one who traded those weapons, she's been the cause of some concern. No. Nobles have been have complained that she has been rude and confrontational. She does not know her etiquette after all. First, some suspect her of being a killed spy. Mm. Okay, all I'm saying is that if you choose to have a word, you most likely will have worse options later. It's just a wild guess. Hmm. Although I am assuming that I don't want to bring defiance up everywhere. So, I mean, it isn't that hard. Well, I mean, I have to get the Baron's defiance up to keep them from doppelgangering me. <laughs> you find Orin pacing the halls far from the assigned chambers. What are you doing out of your room? Uh, can I help? Truth bounty hunters landed the coast not long ago. I see where you're going with this. <laughs> exactly, they're looking for me. No, they're looking for Ari. Yeah. Okay, did not expect them to come here. Three of them was wrong. Tell me what you did, and I might help you move that to the bandage. Come on, you should be. Uh, <laughs> tell me what you did. By crime of the crime of thought, I dare to disagree with the other sentinels on a matter of great importance. So you're a senator. Plus one's nine, nothing. Um, hmm. I would not really make you in the entire world of people. Should be fine if you stay with me. I am the king of those no first sex Ah, yes. Almost in capital debt, but we're fine. But I mean, nothing. Okey-dokey. And so the season ends. Deep in the forest of the bar. Seeking Baron Keeper of Gorgies has gone board hunting a few of his close friends. You said you had a surprise for me. Indeed, and here it is. Behold. Your Highness, what are you doing here at such an hour? I'm sorry, we didn't overhear any. I hope you didn't. Oh, uh, uh, bad thing, Lord. This isn't the king. It's a peasant. He's the king's spitting image. My God! And just in time, the spy master trusts us to trust us so much that he that she's not noticed we're fortifying the border. I can't wait. Uh, no. <laughs> That means we can move into the next phase. Kidnapping the king and putting vi this fool in his place. I'm, I'm so bad. <laughs> apparently I'm very evil. <laughs> yeah, you are. Okay, honestly, like, it looks like they have giant eyes, like, below the neck. Yeah. It's funny. They got, like, the mysterious um, stuff. Power. <laughs> How do we manage that? Oh. <laughs> Corgis. Corgis. Oh, hold on. <laughs> ah. We... We need the kingdom in utter chaos. Bad enough that the king's abduction can slip past the noticed. For the next stage of the scheme, the parents must lower stability to four or less. Oh, man. Well, it's at four well, already. So, it's easier. In a dingy seaside tavern, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. You said that. Uh, oh, the treasury is not empty. The king won't be tempted by our loan offers. Maybe we could arrange some kind of heist. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself. Um, this scoop will be um, conducted entirely within the bounds of the law. We have our principles after all. Yep. I'm still safe. For now. Yeah, but he's fine now. 80. You may collect a common tax. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Let us see here. 
Who is in need of taxation? Uh, the Baron is um, made of iron. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, although I well, think they can be taxed. Yeah, they can't be taxed. I shall... It shall be a common tax, I believe. Ooh, a tax of the people. There you go. There we go. Oh, well. Well, what is my... Oh, okay. The well. true monster. The true monster well. were the friends we made along the way. Uh, well... I remember when I came on to you with the word of a monster preying upon peasants in the east. I have a reason to believe that the culprit may be one of my fellow counts. Count Matthew, to be precise. Oh, okay. Turns out it wasn't my cat. The peasants believe that count, count Matthew transforms into a colossal, bloodthirsty cat once every seven nights. Huh. Do we know of something like this has ever happened before? Only a legend. King Carvick II was said to turn into such a beast and slaughter his servants at night. But in the day, he was mild. He was as mild-mannered as a baby duck and had no memory of his crimes. Perhaps the same is true here. Pray, do not call a public vote on the matter. On the matter, we should embarrass Count Matthew greatly. For no good reason. <laughs> now this matter should be put to vote. I'll send a team from Cortegers. I shall address Count Matthew. <laughs> Actually, we yeah. should do Inquisitors. Put it to a vote. That will be all an option, so that if the kingdom gets ravaged by Matthew, then we'll all be able to say that it was our fault instead of the king's, and then you'll have less chance of being overthrown. Hmm. Wait, that's just something. Oh, okay, just using the word ravaged in a sentence, I can make a joke off of that. Oh, you're hmm. right. Oh, hmm. I'm like so tempted. Really? The Inquisition. Can't go wrong with the Inquisition. Maybe it's the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, yeah. I have faith. A team of inquisitors are dispatched to investigate the claim that Count Matthew sometimes turns into a monster. Hopefully, they'll return attack. Mm. The counts, of course, register their disapproval that the church is meddling with their private affairs. Alright. Ooh, bounty hunter? But, Majesty, these good folks are bounty hunters representing the Republic of the Church, they say. King Alias, we greet you humbly. How may I help you? We are searching for some old fugitive, you might say. That we heard she went by the name Ord? Uh, what kind of fugitive is she? <laughs> the ships under her command are property of the Republic of Perth, as is their cargo. Oh. Um, uh, I am afraid she is under my protection. <laughs> As you should, still, perhaps we could work out a deal to uh, offer me a large bounty for the return of this woman. We are sure that an esteemed king, such as yourself, would not risk drawing with ire. Prefer here. Well, you know, I to keep the firearms. That's good. I, yeah, I yeah. say that this would be a great choice. I don't think we need to anger these people. I think that it would be mad at the king. We so. should, Put them on their hand or it over to them. Hand her over. <sighs> Come on. Hand we want more, more military. Yeah, let's hand or it. Hand her over. No. Alright. You know the wires now. Voting has closed. The bounty hunters nod their thanks. They certainly that the grand pensionary herself will hear of your good deeds. When the lion's dragged from your quarters, she established her faith. It looks as though it could crack a ship's hull. Or aid will remain the head. Fill the hefty coin sack of Azir guilt, and besides, she was a criminal, wasn't she? <laughs> we definitely should say that word. 
eligible options. I found three potential matches for you, one eligible young woman from each of the Kingdom's three regions. Choose wisely, you'll be securing a powerful alliance. Hmm. I suppose the video lights comes first. Jesus. You know, you should probably get the defiance down from um the counts. Yeah. This is just uh the oh uh, the eldest one. <laughs> Got it. Of the Eastern Ola Ten Dynasty. Apparently they had a hell of a time getting her to smile. I mean just look at the trip that that, that she has. Hello. Look at the drip. I will be joining soon. I just finished my little really quick. Cool. I know okay. that. Okay. Join the count. Very yeah. tightly, she did not have to surpass Heaven Revolt on her land recently. I wonder why. Uh, intriguing. From the coast, we have Ariella, the wealthy heiress to Lord Patrician Alex's estate. She was always getting herself into trouble for some reason or another. She wants to lose her fortune betting at the arena. So, oh. mm. there goes her treasure. Yeah. The team of it could be worse, but could be better. And finally, we have the March's offering. Yvette Skyen of the prestigious Exiled King Bloodline. Ooh. I'm saying that bodes ill for you. Like, the bands all seem a little scared of her, though. A a lot, 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 lot. Like most yeah. of the bands, her great passion is hunting. No beast to save from her crossbow. I love you. No. She is highly, she is high up in the army, training the troops, but was dishonorably discharged. <laughs> is that all? <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. Sasha. Well, yes, Sasha is the. Best candidate, I guess, for this. Yes. Woo! There we go. Now all I have to do is see if I can quench the coast. Oh, wait, our defiance went up? I'm so confused. Yeah, because your guys' candidates didn't get chosen. And... Uh -huh. Adopt a lot. Who you can adopt a new lot to help yourself in his room? Yes. Plus one stability. The first law of the first new king. First king. There we go. Honestly, I would have said Monarch's Iron Choice would have been really good. It would have been, but I need to raise stability. Yeah. Okay. Troll in the dungeon. This Your is familiar. The palace watch. No. Reporting that there's a troll downstairs in the dungeon. Everybody look for your left hand. Troll. Remember you have one hand before it hurts anyone. Oh yeah. There's there's some reason many many hard with that troll. Drawing trolls. Um. Talk to the troll instead and see what happens. This is yeah. like a Persona game, right? <laughs> I mean, it, it might actually just be... It, it might just be one of the barons. I mean, they pretty much look like trolls. If you yeah. if you control, control, you might be able to help you. And then you can take out Matthew at the same time. Thumbs up. That'd be a pain off the... Look, 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 let's do a cage match. Let's talk to the troll. A troll. I just got your mouse to do that much. That's why it's... You strive to pass him to send him to the Right. <laughs> To watch Officer Stone guard a real troll who is snoring in the middle of the night. He's not uh, seeing his eternal soul. It's in the dungeon wall. Look at it until it wakes up. Look at it. Open the stone. I'm in danger. Some ways to die. Some ways to die. Hope the troll. 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 Hope the no! It was an elf, it was a creature. It's not evil! Why? You should have poked it! Because it doesn't necessarily mean that's evil just because it's a troll. He did poke it. It's just that it means that it most likely is. He just not angry, did it? Necessarily. He fatally poked it. 
Your Majesty, I received word back from the Inquisitors. You sent East to investigate the claims about Count Matthew and his nocturnal activities. That sounds strange. And heavy iron chains and ladies until nightfall. He transformed into a vicious monster, black murder, claws like six sides. I believe he killed a dozen inquisitors. He still had the straw for him. It's clear that Count Matthew was a devil worshipper cursed by the man God for his sins. He requests permission to burn the baby bone, burn the baby bone, burn the baby bone. Do it. Do it. Do it. I think it's the peasants going like a good public burning. Exactly. Hmm, this seems familiar to Castlevania. <laughs> you have one yet. Not yet. Oh, wait, you're on your wedding. Your wedding? Wait, who is Sishar with again? Which region? The Counts. Ah, uh, the Counts. You can smell because purple. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, the Archbishop. Do you take this one right there? It's good. My wedding is right. Do that, you've changed your mind. I dare you. Huh? I oh. do it. Oh. You match him up. He's gonna kill you while you're sleeping. <laughs> there we go. Defiance down. Everyone's happy at a marriage. Oh yeah, how how did how did my defiance go up so high? Uh, because we killed Matthew. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that guy. Forgot about that guy. Yeah. He seemed to eat critters perched on the church tower as we walked into the guy yeah. with Iron Roman. Actually, it's, o it's only it's only a bad omen if it's 3, 7, or 13. 8 is perfectly fine. And 8 is a perfect number to worry about. I mean, trolls are just kind of loud. Your shame starts seem to sink in. Depends on your idea. They get married for love, not for politics. I hope we the simple life of commoner. Stay there. We're both in this together. What a romantic. I swear to God, <laughs> if you stick a plunger on her head, I will, I will, I will overthrow you so head. quick. <laughs> End of season! I would I'm very much like a plunger on that person's head. Hell no. East. Count or attempt is hosting a dinner party in the castle. But you distinguish. Yes. It's infuriating. The king spies still follow our every move. We'll never catch him unawares at this rate. I thought you were burnt. I thought that he was executed. Yeah, I thought you were burnt. Like, Wait, let's see. It's, it's, it's the son of the original. I, I was doing homework, sorry. Um, <laughs> indeed, we need to stop our, step up our efforts or the throne will forever be beyond our reach. <laughs> what? I'm so confused. The Count's aim is to raise the other regions. Defines to a total of at least six, or ensure another region begins a rebellion. Huh. Also, a high, uh, giant. <laughs> I legitimately could not remember your name. I am sorry. It's okay. Also, I, sw I swear that, um, Jacob has gotten taller. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> Jesus, you're already tall enough. <laughs> I know. Like, when when was the last time you measured yourself? Uh, um, I just I I like I I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you're missing your entire forehead. <laughs> Oh wait, it's me. Behold me. Why? Why? Did Task Manager get like an update or something? I don't like this. Did Task Manager get update? <laughs> it looks I different. I think so. Hey, Task Manager are gorgeous. Coles decides atop them to reveal a granite statue of Baron Exiled King. Oh yeah. The statue is impeccably detailed. Its expression, a frozen grimace. What sand site is it not? I give her me. <laughs> the sculptor is most talented. 
Uh, no, your majesty, this is no statue. statue. It seems the stone maiden is is a is a board march. Is, is is this like the cousin to Iron Maiden that that British heavy metal band? <laughs> yep, I, I never been off. Yeah, I've never been Oh, for all the women who scared the children with tales of her, eh? Hey, hey, how am I supposed to? Okay. She is a walking, she's a walking statue with burning yellow eyes. All nature days are turned to stone. Yeah. She keep she sleeps for years at a time before waking and terrorizing the kingdom. She must have ambushed the baron, exiled king, on his latest hunting trip. Wait, I was hunting. hunting. What? I yeah. Please, Shiro. Oh, sure. I must do something. I must stab you now. Okay. Sal King the Second has joined the council. You should put Gordon <laughs> the Glory on me. <clears throat> I'm dead. Are you serious? I didn't do that. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, I didn't come back. I didn't really just tell them that I imagine dying. I'm <laughs> gonna die next. Mm. But imagine dying. It's okay. Matthew was burned alive and he's alive. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't even. It wasn't even Matthew the second. It was just Matthew. So I'm pretty <laughs> sure he is legitimately a witch. So I say that we try stoning him next. Well, stoning is a little painful. Well, who doesn't like getting stoned? <laughs> That's fair. I don't, I'm let's start the shall we? Oh yeah, hmm. Let, let's hire a wizard. Oh, what has a timer? Uh. Oh, whatever. Of course, the barons did. wanted to send an army. We'll see, we'll see if my decision was the right one. If the wizard turns on us and kills us all, I will just take care of it. Lower that. Thank treasure. you for that stability point. Lower that. I wonder if my own looks just like. <laughs> you send out there that you need a wizard and fast. A few days later, the woman arrives and presents a hideous spectacle deed. The wizard is a smoking cream put out of twisted slag. No. No, 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 I hear you are having trouble with a woman who turns people to stone, a matter I regretfully have some experience with. They, they seem to be mad crispy. <laughs> oh, uh, quiet is one of the teeth. You know, one of the king's teeth. I sacrifice I, you know, the just for the cross. This person is going to If anything easier. Oh, what an interesting. Oh. 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 I, I have plenty of authority. Fine, take my teeth. <laughs> Oh yeah, funny thing yeah, I pulled out like five of my teeth with pliers. Why? I'll make a fine addition to my collection. I have I them all in a little them. box. No, oh, that's wonderful. They're, they're right there. Just within arm's reach. <laughs> Look at my stability. Yep. I, I'm such a stable ruler. I also have a blood stick. Itching for a fight. I don't have a blood stick. <clears throat> Max, it's me! Sorry. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Read! Oh, I, I'm reading, okay. Who's that number? How do you read that? That's eight. Oh, yeah, the X is okay. <laughs> oh, wait, am I? Am I? Is it my yeah, turn? Okay. Yeah, if that's your character. <laughs> oh, let me get in, sorry. Let me get in that. I've been talking about Bartholomew boys. Hold on. I'm sorry. Um, your Majesty, where we in the march have finished the complete reorganization of our new army, it is truly a powerful beast now. <laughs> Sounds like he has braces. Uh, why do you have it? It's for <laughs> Moreover, I was hoping the Crown might be willing to host some military exercises. The soldiers are restless. <laughs> Can we try and exercise us? <laughs> We we just need a suitable campaign Go to, war. to Go win to war. our swords and spears. An unbloody army isn't worth isn't worth its salt. I say. 
That's <laughs> you the council. That's <laughs> funny because both salt and blood rust swords like crazy. There's also iron in blood. So the cross the yeah, blood why it's less blood blood along with the oxygen. I made brownies. You made brownies? I did yeah. not brownies? Uh, no. I couldn't Why source did you it. Hesitate there? Couldn't source it. <laughs> Why'd you hesitate there, Bob? I forgot. I didn't know if they were in that. I see here. We <laughs> established a mercenary company loyal to the Barons. Started a border dispute with... What? <laughs> <laughs> it's like they have a full-scale invasion of the Ashton Empire. Or deny the Barons the foolish exercises. Foolish exercises? I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> poor you with our forces. A low power. We can take some mercenary companies where the rest that we can train and then make our army better for you. Yeah. Wait, I'm wait, gonna... I'm gonna leave this to the vote of people. Wait, but did, I did, will. Deny, it, deny it. Deny the bearings for all the exercises. Deny it. Deny don't it. Do it. Please speak. Can you just detail our companies? Deny. It raises the defiance. I... Yeah. Do it. Deny. Think about it. The kingdom prospers. Baron. Um, please deny. Bar it. Every baron. If you vote, you guys get more rent. It's a three-way tie. Yeah, but then, <laughs> but then we don't want that. We want you to lose this money. It's like so bad. It's, like, it's weird because everyone knows what you choose and like which your goal is. Uh -huh. so. yeah. Let's see what we get. Let's pick one at random. Break the titles. Oh, oh, that's horrible. Okay. Boom. Thank you. I'm gonna kill all of you though. Oh, please, or start a war. I just joined this game. I'm ready to scheme. Oh, you lowered their military. Nice. That's strange. We give royal assent to the creation of new mercenary companies owned by the barons of the March. These companies fight in Afghani, and other lands where boars are plentiful. Oh. Everyone's satisfied, the barons get their exercise, and you get a portion of the blood money. Oh, blood money's always good. Yeah. The counts could use some blood money. No. Yeah. <laughs> the good word. As you know, people of the East are quite pious. As a member of the royal household and an avid advent of the church myself, I thought I might go back to my homeland for a time and take the opportunity to preach in your favor. I do this for me. I do it because your wife was not in the side. But be your friend, both. Uh, go forth and teach them to love me. Unfortunately, they're mostly flocking to throw vegetables. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Gotta love that hiding of science. Clearly, didn't amount to as much. I have. We have three of the highest. We have three of the highest stats. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that's. It's not good that your face is high. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was just like faith and religion. Their skulls. Well, faith, faith is. Okay, cool. guys, I just joined this game. Can I ask what the hell's happening? Um. Okay, what color are you? Green. Oh, you're boring then. Oh. Uh, your goal is to try to drain the treasury. That's yeah. what your team is doing. Though, if you can't do that, raise others' defiance. Okay. What do I want to do? I'm just trying to fuck over other people? Is that what I'm not going Yeah. Alright, that's what I do best. You're trying to get your regent on the throne, or you're trying to keep everyone else's off the throne. Yeah. What I'm okay. trying to do is I'm trying to improve farming and get an heir. Ah. Uh. Matthew, um, let's, let's get trade up. So let's okay. try and get the bazaar. Okay. I I will personally be King's honor if something farming related gets upped. I will take 
one community choice. Like, not even, yeah, like, I won't even consider it. You guys will just be, like, community choice. But you gotta get at least one of the farming buildings. That is what I hear that you said honor after you betrayed the person you promised you would protect. Yeah. Uh, queen's honor. 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 honor of the queen. So, how about the. Also, oh, technically, I'm the one betrayed and you guys betrayed. What? Mm-hmm. That's not what the people saw. No. A prison is very important. It keeps. It helps that lowering stability. It keeps your enemies from conspiring. Oh, <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is, is, a higher, is a higher stat better or worse? Uh, the higher the stat. Okay, so these top stats are my stats personally. The higher they are, the better for me. If you lower them, then it's better for whatever one is trying to get rid of things, but you want to keep your stats, except for defiance, as high as possible, because the higher your defiance level, the more suspicious. Okay. You see? I'll just spec it. Somebody, Alex was a count for a minute. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I'm really much in lost connection, so I'm kind of just not actually there anymore, I guess. Sorry. Oh, it put you as green. Should I be bidding? Oops, I'm not bidding. Okay, oh. hopefully I wasn't supposed to be bidding. You could bid if you want to. But, okay. So, the aqueduct and the prison. Oh, <laughs> the trying to be lowered. Well, now I have honor to keep, so let's just hope that com- the community choice isn't something to try to screw me over. I'm going to try and see what the defiant trendy thing is. I am here. Lord Patrician is here to see you, Your Majesty. He wants to sell you uh, a crab. Okay, so I literally thought that that the patricians were just giving you soup and that there was crabs in it. <laughs> um, should I should I have said my name and my real name? I just said it's my game. Uh, uh, no, I, I did the exact same thing. Okay. It's the latest trend among the coast, your majesty. The patricians have started keeping a species of jeweled crabs as a fashionable pet. What? The creatures are so rare that one can now sell as much as a mansion. I it frivolously. Spend money on your crabs. Yes. Yeah, Very well. Well, cool, I guess. Thank you for seeing me, Your Majesty. I know the price is steep, but I assure you, my crabs will buy, 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 buy a box of crabs. Turn this fool away from an opportunity. Buy the crabs. Is this? Think about it. Is this the community choice? Buy the crabs. It's all. It's all. They say all life forms are evolving into crabs. Therefore, yeah, it's crabs. crabs will be our overlords. I mean, and also, the, it's it's okay. All I'm saying is that this is literally the equivalent of an NFT pyramid scam because he says, but I assure you, these crabs will only go up in value. Yes. So, yeah, buy the box of crabs. They're not just crabs. They're jewels. Are you stating that, are you stating this is the community choice? Sure. Never will agree sure. to force me to buy a box of crabs. Yeah, yes. Buy the box of crabs. Crabs are cool. Uh, I want to pet one. Okay, cool. Yeah. That, that was probably the best thing that could have been put forth as the community choice. Soup now has 2,000. We have more money. <laughs> I'm the richest man alive. A bad new heir. Large to Shira has grown strong and steady, like an old castle wall. The band's political arrangement has blossomed to something like love. It's high time you thought about an heir. Congratulations are in order. Uh, there we go. Could be expected. <laughs> this isn't as important as fulfilling your duty. Wow. Oh, you find a way to have both. You've done well so far, but there's something missing in air. You need they someone to make that glow in the bedroom the air. <laughs> loyalty is assured, a child of your own would do the trick, even if they're a bastard. Or the youngest of your many cousins. Yo, I'm a bastard. <laughs> um, I plan to adopt a lowborn child from the orphanage. My wife and child, I have a child together. <laughs> I, have sure I have a what? child lying around somewhere. Yeah, I'm pretty sure one of the barons is. No. 
too sure I have a No, no, why? 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 Adopt. The nobles won't be happy with the noble and child being elevated to the status of royalty. But actually do I want like that. The the counts are already pretty aggravated. They're not bad, man. No, no. Let's no, ra- raise them to be a crime of crime fighting kid that only ra- wears green, red, and yellow. Spider Man. I might have made up. I'm sure that's your rules. He doesn't check out the people. Yes. Uh, yeah, ooh, comics. Yeah, exciting. Uh, um, Brandon, Alex, and I kind of have stuff to do, so we're going to go now. I thought this was going to take a bit shorter time. Okay. Uh, I'm up for playing later. I don't know about Brandon and Alex, but I am. Probably not. I've, I've, I've got stuff to do. And it's still too long. I think I've got well, left. Yeah, I might be back if you guys are still playing later, or play a diff- I'll play a different day, so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you. It was fun while you were around. Yes. Yes, sir. Bye. Bye. Right, goodbye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. It is your time to speak, Soup. Oh, uh, a blood red comet was spotted in the sky over the coast. Your, ma- your August Majesty, the citizens are claiming it is a terrible omen. The common folk are on the verge of panic. Is there anything I can do? Tell the church to dispel such superstitions. Tell them there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Just <laughs> covering love in presence. Wow, those are all bad choices. Ooh, I don't want that. Um, what? Those are all how, bad how much faith do you guys have? They have five faith. They have the lowest. Oh, sick. Tell the church to dispel it. The priests of the coach priests of the commons, and tiny little good omen, due to a new interpretation of an obscure cluster of stars. Huh. Yeah. Unfortunately, the church is trust is not in the coast, but the peasants believe their path. Wait, unfortunately. unfortunately. I said unfortunately, unfortunately, and I was like, oh shit, do I want them to be overthrown by the church? Not well, the town is now celebrated as a sign of the night in God's favor. Sweet. Planning an objection. Somehow, somewhere in the march, Baron Keeper of Corgis sits in a banquet, gnawing on a greasy chicken leg. He and his fellow plotters discuss their scheme between mouthfuls. Okay. <laughs> the kingdom's not exactly peaceful, but there is, but there's still no way we could stage an abduction of the king without being noticed. <laughs> this chicken. <laughs> Chaos. Oh, no, that's not me. Hold on. <laughs> you look exactly the same. Baron's aim is to lower stability. Hmm, chicken. Anything else? Oh, sweet. Taxes. You should, you should, should, tax the you should, you should tax the patricians the most because they have the most money. Yes, I am, I am all by my lonesome. No, the red guys have more collected money. Oh, true. matter. Leave the little guy alone and take out the big guy. I mean, I just, or you could just take more from the Patricians and the Barons. Uh, I, I don't think you can. Ah. Oh, wow. Well, you really did it. It's a good call. It's a good call. Are you sure? Good call, my matches. Actually, wait, no, we want you to lose money. That's a bad call. <laughs> yeah. Oopsie. Um, the Rogue Golem. A rogue golem has crossed into our territory over the Ashmedean border, my lees. <laughs> this could be an exciting opportunity. What did he cross? It was instructed to dig a trench, but evidently was not told when to stop. <laughs> it had dug a 16 mile furrow yeah. through the landscape and over the border by the time we stopped it. Please, my liege, this is our chance to figure out how this golden magic works. We could even turn it against the Ashmedi. Her Majesty, the parents were trying with their own grand by mistaking advantage over As- Ashmede. Or over the Counts and Patricians. Golems are an offense to the night god and are dangerous. 
We should destroy it before it gets out of control. Gold could be helpful, though. Use it as a source of labor. Oh, yeah. Add it to the marcher's army. Take it apart and figure out its secrets. Destroy it. You can use it, of course. You can bring wealth to everyone here. And we don't have to pay people. From leading the added to the army. We should destroy it. Shouldn't be warring. Except that we want to find it. Yep. Stability, faith, and finance. Oh wait. Destruction. Destruction. It's tied. Oh, well, Are you gonna do the 50-50 chance or the, or the good chance? Destroying it might be. Okay. Flip a coin. Heads is B. I have a coin in here. I I also have a coin. Oh. I also have a coin. What was that? I have two coins. Uh, you have two? I have them. Oh. He's got one. So he had one. So he said what was what? Uh, Heads for destruction. Because you bring its head. Well. Well, I guess the goblin is the main. Heck yeah. Yay. Which means. Oh no! By the night. Ah, find you? Oh, sorry. Um, by the night. This was our only chance to or to even the playing field between us and the Asmodee. You're all fools. <laughs> <laughs> the Eric Allen is smashed to pieces with hammers. <laughs> it's for the best, most likely. Most like mercenary income. Of these, I have good news. Those mercenary companies we let loose in the wild, they're still returning profit. What a wonderful investment. Mm. There's a scene here. Literally all of them are glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. The question we have. The question remains, my liege, whether or not we call it quits. <coughs> call it quits, what do you mean? We sent them to Ash me in order to blood them. They've been more they've more than proven themselves. We can bring them home and have them train our own military with their expertise. Hmm. Or we can put them back to work with the expectation of future profits. I see. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I shall set forth. I'm gonna flip a new lot today. Ooh, I, just I don't one. think you clicked on one. What? Oh, oh the other one had a 60% chance of winning. Hmm. Interesting. Let's. Oh. <laughs> well, the voting has closed. It appears I was bring them home to train the troops. Oh, unfortunately. It failed. <laughs> Out of all the mercenary companies, obey their summons. Many are now living well from the gold they earned, thinking they'd be better off on their own. Ha 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 ha. Well, shit, now we have mercenaries. Uh, well, we don't have mercenaries. Yeah. We have we the have wild mercenaries in the... In your debt. Oh my god, I'm vicious. How do you expect me to take this seriously, you crack brain simpleton? <laughs> Shut your dat mouth and give me what I'm owed, you honorous dog. <laughs> what in the seven heavens is going on? This people of them. This people in Lackwit expects me to pay a huge quantity of gold just because their great great grandfather beat my great great grandfather in a hoop race. Hoop race. A, a debt owed is a debt owed, is it not? 
Your Majesty, I only recently discovered this debt while combing through my ancestors' journal. Honor dictates that Lord Patrician Soup is liable for his ancestors' debt. By the night, this is ludicrous. I demand we put this to a vote. Well, I say that we get money because, you know, I don't have any money. That's a you problem. <laughs> I have seven centuries of interest. Um, I mean, also, he, he needs to pay his debt. But, uh, like, for example, um, well, actually, this is a real life example. Um, somebody that I know, um, needed, needed homework answers, and they said that they, that, well, okay, essentially, for the homework answers, they owe me their first paycheck. I see. Huh. Well, uh, voting begins now. Pay is debt with interest. Pay is debt with interest. Okay, it's too old to matter. Pay is the debt with interest. Oh. Yeah. People just want to bully a good innocent guy like me. <laughs> oh, are you the are you the nice guys? Uh huh. I see the accounts and the patricians have swapped to five hits. Yeah. Huh. Your great great grandfather should have thought of that before he decided to run so slowly. Oh my god, I lost so much money. Tell you what, I'll give you a few weeks to sell off the family silver before I expect full payment. This is an outrage. I want to tell you, little snake, I'll get you back for this. I mean, uh, good job. I mean, okay, it's a very, very realistic, um, like, interpretation of what happens when you make a deal with me. And so the season I made a deal with you, my grandfather, man, too, with your grandfather. Thanks, thanks to our efforts, the Spine Masters focused her attention on other regions, and while the cat's away, the mice shall play. Darn it, I forgot that's what you guys were about. Cats? <laughs> oh yeah, Matthew. Is is Matthew still here? No, he left. No. Okay. He might return later. Okay. The analogy is a little tortured now, but I like the enthusiasm. Our next step is to replace the palace watch with our own agents. Indeed. What about our incorruptible? The want to try another story. The king can't pay them. They'll look for money elsewhere. Everyone, everyone's trying to play. Already chosen the maximum number of adaptive miles. Please choose one of the current miles. Although I'd say soon votes. Or a call for unity. There we go. The crab future. Um. Let's see what the crab are up to. The crab craze has swollen to unforeseen heights. You imagine. Oh, no. That's great, isn't it? Okay, I I think I think that we should um count that the that the kingdom of the bow counts for this entire quest line thingy. Okay, the whole the whole crab quest, anything relating to crabs, is community boat yes. or community choice. Okay, I I can accept those terms. Okay, cool. Yeah, the tree is so profitable. The petitions are shutting down taxile reels to focus on crab catching. Thousands are unemployed. 
but who cares whether that's your majesty? Your box of your caps is now worth double, nearly double worth what you paid for it. Hmm. I sense a bubble. Hold your nerve and hold on to the crabs. This is the reason. <laughs> or prevent the closure. Hey. If you sell does that, oh no, that goes to you. Hold, how about hold your nerves and hold on to the crabs? You can also make you the should, you you should the prevent the closure of factories by offering tax breaks to major industries. Well, we said yeah, that this is a community yeah, choice, so you guys are going to have to come to a consensus. What, what's the good deal with the crabs? Lose your money. <laughs> prevent the closure. Prevent the closure. And it lowers defiance. Cover. So we're preventing closure? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> of course, the question remains what do you do about the crabs? Hold, hold, hold on to hold it. Hold your nerve and hold on to the crabs. Mm, all right. It's too big to crash. Mm -hmm. True. Crabs, in a thousand years, crabs will be our overlords. <laughs> the crabs will have a good for their value. But you order your treasure to hold on to them. This crab's only low enough. You see, I, I knew this from the start as soon as they said it's it will only increase. That's why I wanted to secure us securing the entire crab quest line. So then we can make the treasury empty. Yep. <laughs> A curious curse. Of crabs. A giant glass A giant glass globe. Filled to the brim with murky water, it's weird for the council. The fishbowl contains Lord Patrician, amazing game, was suspended in liquid. He pokes the head above the surface. Your, <laughs> your serene highness, global, a most infuriating circumstance has befallen me. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get you some fish food? This is no gloom the laughing matter. <laughs> I have been more cursed by a sea wizard. He inflicted me with these rails, so I can't leave the water for more than a couple of one minutes. <laughs> oh, it's an excellent. wizard. I happen to own a tannery that is a little polluting some picturesque beach he likes. How was I supposed to know? I demand you arrest this maniac and force him to remove these gills. <laughs> Let's see here. We could send a squad of coastal soldiers to arrest the wizard responsibly. I was sending a diplomat to politely ask the wizard to reverse the curse. Uh, close down toward Patrician Amazing Gamer's tannery, or send the wizard a hamper of fine cheeses and a bottle of wine. Okay, honestly, Jesus. he does sound pretty good. Like, actually. Because. Because that would be making the sea wizard happy, and that might be good for her later. Hmm. Oh, wait. We lose money. I don't want to lose money. Cares about money? No, we wouldn't, lose, this. we wouldn't lose money. The city would lose money, I think. So, is that, that number looks. I might be colorblind. I think that, num that number. Look, oh, I, I can't tell if that's green, like meaning it's ours or. Oh, she's blue. blue, so I don't know. Oh, okay. Fine cheese one I find very funny. <laughs> How does a tannery yeah. affect trade? Wait a minute. <laughs> what is a tannery? It's, it's where they make uh, it. Yeah, it's for tanning leather. Uh, less leather equals less trade. Uh, that makes sense. After your soldiers close down the tannery and destroy its back, the nearby beach returns to its former beauty, and Lord Patrician, an amazing gamer, recovers from his curse. Sure, a few hundred jobs are lost, but it's a small price to pay. Mm -hmm. Lord Patrician, amazing gamer, appeared in the council hall a few days later back to his old self. There is a case of the hiccups that persist for several months. <laughs> <laughs> several months? Just hiccups? Oh, that's gonna be a nightmare. That's a good Undercutting. Thing. I wanted to speak to you today about a delicate matter. Your most august majesty, it, concur it concerns the iron trade. Yeah, I have to explain a little bit further. Well, the East is vast and full of natural reserves, iron being one of the most bountiful. The counts make a killing off it. 
And of course, who needs iron more than the Baron's house? Would they make their world famous weapons and armor? The Marcher steel industry practically relies on good relations with the counts. Traditionally, we patrons uh, have facilitated this trade, making sure that a fair deal was reached on both sides. Yet now the Barons buy from the counts directly. They're cutting us out of the deal. You can't let them get away it. Get away why, it. Except why? Why should they? Why should they be put, sticking their nose in ours in our business? I mean, you did steal our big balance of power. <laughs> you did. Simple. You did steal our. Money. Even when they offer nothing in return. It yes. sounds like clever business to me. Yeah, your serene highness, please. It sounds like if you chose the patricians, you'd be choosing favorites. Just call Honestly, maybe you should just will. pay us. Actually, yeah, paying them to forget would be pretty good. Uh, but I'm not going to do that, because that's what you guys are talking to do. And because that would put me in debt. Can make you read it for this one, guys? No, it, it, would, it wouldn't put you in debt. It would make our definance go down. It would put me under the definitive zone of rebellion. It would make our four defiance go down. I mean, the patricians, like, literally don't have any money. Hmm. Them. Because, you know, I got it all. And then you close down their tannery. And it would lower Actually, the I don't think I will. Hmm. <laughs> you allow the reader to... Oh, no, that's that too. Readers now quit for you. Well, now I'm gonna work on bringing Defiance down. Never! That's a thing. Dude, the barons are just... Um, swimming. <laughs> Wait, what is our goal again? Hold on, I gotta click the thing. Here we go. Ah, my camera key. Your count... The quest for air is finally complete. You stand before the castle holding a small child in your arms. Should I die, I ask that my crown be passed down to... Oof. Oh, it's all the same. It's just yeah. choosing the gender of the queen. Oh, How did your stability go up? What? <laughs> Frick. Yeah, what is up with stability at it's, the moment? It's because he finally designated an heir. Oh, <laughs> that means what? if we kill him, we have to deal with the heir. <laughs> oh, Wait, my liege. Did you pick? I'm happy to first congratulate you on adopting an heir. What's your name? <coughs> Envious. I guess I can't name the child. No. It's just my name. Christian. Uh, oh. Uh, um, an invitation. Then where the Count Aurora X hands you a blood red envelope it is sealed with white wax in the shape of a skull. Inside is a beautifully written invitation to an event called the Crimson Vigil, due to take place on an autumn night later in the year. What is this all about? I cannot say no more. You must choose whether to accept our invitation or to decline it. I suppose we shall attend this event. I will see you at the next vigil, your majesty. <laughs> You're about to become a... This is either going to be super helpful or the fight me <laughs> in the butt. Knight <laughs> above, your majesty, one of the peasants from my state discovered something extraordinary. I was lost. I was steeped in the wilderness. I ran out of water, I saw a beam of sunlight cracking through the clouds. The voice of the new god spoke to me, I swear, he said, drink, and be sustained, for you are faithful. And a fresh spring bubbled up from the mountain. Praise the life. Look, even better, the water has healing properties, 
that someone was sick fix my sprained ankle. A cruel miracle in the East. This is marvelous news indeed. We must allow the kingdom's faithful to access these sacred waters. Nay, the whole world. For three. Well. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um. Uh, wait a moment. For three, your highness. Who? Dang, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Mm. Sacred waters must be free to everyone who wants them. Use water to irrigate crops and heal sick animals. That would actually be a pretty good one. Mm. That would help the farming go. Yeah. But don't we want yeah. most people to be alive? Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick that one as the vetoed. So. Decide amongst the people. Um, yeah, let's do B. I'm gonna go C. Good job, Sue. Thank you, Sue. C for soup? Wait. Yes. Thank the guests. Please, the waters. Disgruntled guests. This front of counts believe that the God created this miracle on the land as an opportunity to profit. Who would in this life with their devout faith? But they cannot deny that it still brings in gold for the East. Enterprising peace, priests travel to the Holy Spring to sell relics, and merchants hawk Eastern snacks, delicacies. Holy The name of the night God rings out through the kingdom. Man, I really should have picked Faith as the as my quest. I'm so that sure. would have that would have done me a lot of good. Dude, you literally mm. based it off of like seasons that can end very badly. <laughs> in the dark, in the darkest depths of the eastern forest. Count Roy Ten has gathered the fellow plotters around a mossy stone obelisk. Some of our bribes have been accepted, but not enough. The king is paying the palace watch well enough that their loyalties aren't easily swayed. So we have some of the watch in our pocket. Isn't that enough? No, not yet. We can't make a move until we're sure we won't be discovered. The count. Oh, yeah. Count's aim is to lower the treasury of 15,000 or less. Forgot about that. We're getting close. Hmm. Well, you're getting close. What enough. should I buy? Um, it appears only one building has been funded. Yeah. Who wants to fund a thieves guild? Me, you know. No, that won't. It's funny. Yeah. I ain't got I'd it. say that lowering stability is perfectly fine. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's it's not required. I mean, we have good enough balance as is. That's not good. Well, though its ability is good for the barons. Me. Let's see crab futures. Heck yeah. I'll do that after the crimson vigil. Yeah, do the vigil. Let's see if you get this thing. Definitely you. is not a cult thing. Definitely mm -hmm. not. Definitely, with 10 faith, definitely not. The Crimson Vigil takes place in a big castle at the top of the eastern hill. The journey takes weeks. 
and your baggage train keeps getting stuck in bugs. Guests at the Crimson View, which will compete on moving dress in the most ghoulish, threatening costume. What did you dress as? Oh, you do. Unironically, you should do the dragon. <laughs> I'm going with the dragon. Presentation. Yeah. Presentation. Presentation. Mm -hmm. I don't even care if this puts me into debt. Presentation. Yeah. Yes. Let's be your smart way. Damn it. Oh, that does put him in debt. Oh, good. Okay. See? Presentation. <laughs> Presentation. Yeah. Anyway, and you got more authority. True. The wings get stuck in Castle Toby and you keep tripping over the tail. The counts are in awe of such a display of force. Of wealth. As you're assessing your appearance, Count Over Tem swoops in dressed as a living corpse. Welcome, welcome. Your costume is extraordinary, your highness. Truly, it puts the rest of us to shame. Medieval monster mash. <laughs> Please remember to stay in the upper levels. The dungeons are out of bounds. Was this hide and seek? <laughs> the ball, ball, the 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 a waiter glides past, holding a tray of sandwiches. Pianist plays a mournful tune. The crimson vigil begins at midnight. What role will you take? A mourner? Or are you willing to portray the hound of the betrayer? <laughs> the hound. The Counts gather after Count Ayor Ten delivers a short speech about remembering the old ways. A flaming crown is placed upon their head. I will be playing the King in Exile this evening. The hounds of the betrayer will try to catch me, but fear not. I am swift as a falling star and as old as the hills. Could have just said it's tag. Mayor Ten runs down the corridor, lanes licking behind them, and you give chase. A dozen other hounds of the betrayal run alongside you, yelling and yipping enthusiastically. Aww. Somehow, despite the silly costume and massive flaming hat, Mayor Ten is quick on their feet. Catching them won't be easy. Chase after them. It's I'm pretty high in defiance. Well, as high as us, we have one more than you. Ooh, okay, there's a 40% chance. This <laughs> dude wins, get stuck in the doorway. You're safe. <laughs> To your surprise, the Counts are ecstatic that the keen exile evaded you. They declared it a good omen and smash a bottle of red wine in celebration. May your attempts not reappear. After that, the music is more cheerful. The Counts dance and shout along into the night. At dawn, you board your carriage and begin the long journey back to the capital. Crab. Crab, 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 crab. The future of crabs is here. Yes. Yes. The stock has crashed. <laughs> Wait, this isn't like. Oh, we should have gotten the money. I, I, I paid a thousand gold for these crabs. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, sick. Oh, oh, lovely. Oh, wait, how much has it oh, decreased by, by I, 150? I didn't lose any wealth because I have none. Very 
<laughs> Arrests. <laughs> Bail out the failed business is a lot in the coast. Oh, I see. Now, who was that earlier talking about the, like, the... Oh, wait, we, no. get, to ch we get to choose. Who was that earlier talking about the honor between debts and stuff? Oh, wait, no nobody choose an option. Yeah. Yeah, who was who that? <laughs> if we're talking about honor between debts, it's only fair that I get to keep the money. Yeah. So the I, I was gonna say, what the hell? <laughs> he, he, removed, he removed our options. Yeah, he did. So, so I think that is in um, in part of our earlier money. agreement. Oh, Me. Closing money, yeah. The earlier agreement. Um, yes, that we get to control the crab, the crab questline's fate. I think that meant just like the choices. The, this actual part of the game of voting, I still get my right to imply, yeah. to veto, and things like that. Yeah. Eh, fair. Except now he has money. You find him out of it, and you gave him money. Must be funny. Damn, yeah, weird. Being a rich man, I'm scared. We're gonna have the most. Uh, Lord, Lord, Lord Patrician's soup wealth has decreased. Nope. You don't. I really need to get back on the good side of Patrician's. Yeah. You really aren't, you know. <laughs> We're gonna have as much defiance as the Counts have faith. And there's still more. At the start of your reign, you said you wanted to be the father of the nation. You're well on your way to- Yes! Damn it. I know you defiance just slightly. Hmm. You're well on your way to reach a knuckle. The peasants are starving and well fed, and they think of you fondly. Well done, your majesty. But shut down your noble scheming for good. We need to build on that reputation. Your advisors have some ideas. The common folk are sleeping giant. Even the peasants are afraid to wait. If you've come beloved by the peasants, the nobles won't dare if it's for the fear of revolution. Or, you could declare war on the us, as will the empire. The nobles will forgive their schemes, if you win. Stability, farming, baby. A wise decision, your majesty. Begin with having town flyers to shout about your achievements to the masses. But first you need some actual achievements. The priority is to raise the kingdom to build an overall farming as much as you can, and of course, there can't be open rebellion among the nobles. There we go. Um, common tax. Ambition, beloved. Your Majesty, the common folk are sway as easily as a dandelion in the gale. I'm confident that we can make them adore you. This will be the biggest public relations campaign the kingdom has ever seen. But toward the kingdom giving speeches, town trials will claim the great deeds from every corner. Of course not. Posters, pamphlets, barbs, goddamn barbs. <laughs> He's many facets, your majesty. Let me take care of it. We hope by the fact that the kingdom is harmonious. It's important that we keep it that way. And we must also keep something else in mind. A hungry peasant is never happy with their king. Luckily, the land is bountiful right now. If the peasants remain comfortable and well-fed, they will win their devotion for sure. Their goal is to raise the kingdom's overall stability and farming as much as possible. We're not already doing that? Yeah, but now you yeah. really Okay. Oh, winter chill. I don't like that. I don't like that, but let's get on it. Hold on.
Um, but my, it says marker, right? Yeah. Yeah. But when the marker of winter has been especially cruel this year, your highness, I can still feel it in my bones. Cold bone, like. And the secret is layers. <laughs> like an onion. <laughs> I don't think we're ogres. Anyway. It's not just about me here. In the, in the march, the river's frozen and people won't work for fear of frostbite. My butler touched an iron fence post and lost his entire finger. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, Paul Butler. How did he do that? Send food to build marcher stockpiles, send coastal troops to clear snow and ice, or the veterans farming to send any surplus food. Leave the peasants to deal with it. Um, Dude, that's that's gonna raise farming if you do. Do the iron choice for egg. Hmm. Whoa. I feel this is a good time for a call to- wait, what? Oh, oh yes, okay. Play on to Unity. Okay. We shall. Hmm. Mars Treasury? Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's why. That's good. Oh, sorry, it's fine. Let's see, 1500. Hold on. Do some mathematics here. You know what? This helps us. Ooh. It's close. The treasure agrees. For two dragons, grain, fruit, vegetables, and meat to be sent to the march. As they roll in, peasants cheer weekly before hurrying back to the houses to shelter from the wind. Along with the food, is extra seed for the coming spring. The marcher farmland should be in better shape next year, barring any unforeseen accidents. Huh. <laughs> Not money. Not money. Really quick. Really quick. Like, I gotta put in. I gotta put in some laundry by tonight. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I thought this was like. I thought this was more of an arcade game that would take less long. So I hate to be in the game, but I gotta do. I gotta do some chores and stuff tonight before I. Before I hit the sack. That's fine. Oh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. Out and do this. I will see you guys. Shane, text me if you're ever playing this again, so that I can actually play it to finish it. Yeah. Uh, most definitely. All right. This so we'll is pretty fun, though. Yes, I agree. I would, I would like to have played the start of it and the end of it next time <laughs> instead of joining <laughs> midway. Yeah. But I'll see you guys. Yeah. Yeah. This is literally the length of a Dungeons and Dragons campaign. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but nothing is wrong. Absolutely nothing is wrong in the mind. You say really? it looks like you swallowed a wasp. <laughs> There's definitely not an old witch who, <coughs> who lives at the border of my lands, and I definitely haven't been having money troubles. And most importantly, she didn't offer me a fortune in exchange for just a drop of my blood. An offer which I absolutely did not accept. You know, giving, giving blood to people never did trust it. So. I mean, the king gave her his tooth, so. Is it just me? Has anyone else realized that our father was model James? Yeah, he did. I think it's because it's a different one. You keep looking at me like I've dropped your foot. Ever since I didn't accept the witch's bargain, I haven't found myself obeying her every command. I definitely still rule over my state, not her. Oh, good to know. 
Furthermore, furthermore, she did not forbid me from telling you any of this. And I'm not using negative statements to bypass her magic. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Let's see here. Go to the list on our side. So, I can see if the current position can heal you. I'm sorry to feel like you would be opposite of what you say. Or, I could just say, or I can raise farming and lower the religion. I... I would help my fellow baron. Yeah, give him, give him farming. Oh. Yeah, help him with farming, you know? Help their economy. Well... <laughs> you haven't... Um, hmm. What would you pick, Shay? Focal patterns are quite straight. Let's do this. After a week of... I've confined to a cold iron box with no good beef and salt. The magic stuff stops affecting their input all of you. That sounds like torture. He's even able to talk about his so own deal directly. You're not torture anybody. I'm always tolerated that bloody way. He'd sell medicine to the peasants and help them find lost sheep. I never suspected she was capable of something like this. We need to call a boat. Send a regiment to take back my stolen land. Yeah. So, we could take back the Baron's land. And, uh, is that like an 80% military? So. Take back Bartholomew's land, but let the bridge go free. Let Bartholomew suffer the consequences of this bargain. Let's let yeah. Bartholomew suffer the consequences. Think not. Well, think let's put this down as an iron choice, shall we? Hmm. All right. Actually, no. I, I don't want to. I don't want to do anything with this one. Okay, let's all go B. Oh. B is the best for yeah, us. Yeah, that is the best. Crap. <laughs> oh well. My bad. Uh. You realize that we don't want farming and trade and stuff to be high. Oops. When the Marcus troops arrive on Baron Bartholomew, I, I know Roman numerals, but I can't actually remember. Oh wait, no, I is one, so the eighth. Yeah, because yeah, it's after the X, which I think just denotes before or after ten. This state. The land itself fights back. The soil opens up beneath them. Trees sweat at their horses. But they fight their way through the, with minimal losses. The witch tries to escape, but she's caught by sentries posted around the perimeter. That evening, the witch is burned in the town square as the peasants walk in silence. Baron Bartholomew the Eighth is put. Does that say? Pathetically, yeah. Pathetically grateful for the return of his ancestral home. Interesting. No, 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 my farming. Oh. But the fields are never again as bountiful as they were under the witch's reign. Nope, <laughs> I'm not taking that. Um. Hail Gamble. Yeah, I don't think I need anything else, do I? Really? I got some good choices here. All for Unity. Yeah. I can work with that swing bird. Nah. Nah. The crabs. Not the crabs! Not the crabs! Yeah, After months of delay, Lord's attrition soup is finally due to stand trial for his crab related market manipulation. You stand accused of perpetrating fraud and tricking hundreds into buying expensive crabs. How do you plead? I'm guilty only of making money, so I've been a few laws along the way. Crime? Yes, obviously. I've heard 
one to do it is Charles and your fate will be decided by the king. Okay, we get to decide this, remember. Yep. Um... <laughs> hey, no. Let's, uh... Hang. hang the scoundrel. Yes, let's hang, hang the scoundrel. scoundrel. Yes. Is it unanimous? Yeah. Yep, hanging. Okay. <laughs> it's sad that he wasn't here to defend himself. <laughs> the next morning, he stand without me watches the Lord Patrician <laughs> sing is led to the gallows. Where the fools who brought the bloody things, the creatures crabs. Crabs are deep as meat if a man to curse on you all, and the pillars are corrupt. His words are cut off as the loose titans. Am I the patron again? Some faster noises for do there. <laughs> hey, your Majesty, you have a speech to give. Get me my fancy robe! The presence of man, my presence! You have to ride onto the palace balcony below, which is a sea of expected and unwashed faces gaze up at you. As you step out into view, they erupt in cheer, half to the air, some of paints with joy. What? It's just like a boy band. Everywhere you've gone, you've met the same reception. The public like you, they really like you. But you need to turn that into love. Seventy <laughs> percent. <laughs> I failed on 70%? Well, hey, that's still a 30% chance of failing. 3 in 10 chance of failing, oh my god. The peasants start to chat amongst themselves, half the crowd drifts away and drag. Oh dear. Then look next time, your majesty. Your majesty. I think you needed the robe. <laughs> I robe probably would have made it like 100%. There's one at the very bottom. Low on lumber. Oh, what? Your serene highness, will you tell these superstitious barons to get over themselves and let us harvest their trees? We need the wood f for our craftspeople. I told you a thousand times, Lord Patrician, that forest is thoroughly haunted. You'll damn us all if you go logging there. But you should... But you sold us a logging contract and said... Contract has no exclusions for haunting. Your August. I think haunting is a legitimate reason. The barons can't be allowed to wiggle out of their commitments. You just allowed them to take. Oh. The, just allowed them to take the oath of the old man. Now are you going to hold them accountable? I'd say let them harvest the lumber. But share the proceeds with the barons. I say we fence off the area and make sure no one goes near it, as it is truly haunted. Well, burning begins now. Oh, okay. I was checking out this game's Steam page, but I guess I have to vote. <laughs> I'll just go with whatever my person chooses. Booting time to flip a coin. Hmm. Besides the fact that trade is already so low, that this is probably going to fail. Unless this is where my 70% luck went. Yeah, that, that, that's, yeah, that's, that's kind of what, what I was thinking. That's called the gambler's fallacy. Yep. Remember, 99% okay. of gamblers quit before they hit big. Well, who wants to call heads? I have no money. I call heads. <laughs> well. Sadly, my friends, it was tails this time. <laughs> oh, well, that's off the area. Please fail. Damn it. Succeed. <laughs> they are so lumberous. Ten defiance. But, but my lumber, I paid for that. I was I was so prepared to 
help with downing this whole down with the king thing. But I don't think I, it's just not working. Either Rance, why don't you? The council's spoken. That's for your own good. I think that you and the barons are like playing favorites because the barons are highest in everything except for defiance. Oh! We're just built better. That's how it is. And you yeah. know what he wants? He wants high stats. So I say that the barons are a bunch of no good traders. Uh, how could you say that? that? This is why we're the favorites. And this is why you're broke. I'm pretty sure I have more money than you guys combined. That my point still stands. <laughs> so only one of you has money. Go to the value report. One of the regions are able to rip out as the defined says having both authority and stability. Oh. Uh, well, that's not us. The rebels no. made all the points, and the loyalists stay within the game. If the loyalists get more victory points than the rebels, they'll put down their value and continue the game. If both of them Regions rebellion, a vote between the two rebellion regions with the highest stats will determine the successor. Important, rebellion regions have their schemes paused. Regions with a high military stat are more likely to overthrow the monarch for the rebellion. Okay, if stability, authority, or treasure hits the other rebellion, will win the civil war. So, five moments. Uh, mm -hmm. around the verge of rebellion, but they're not rebelled yet. A menacing. Uh... I need to get going in a bit, so. Okay. I don't mean after this. Oh, oops, sorry. After this, uh, because, yeah, it does seem to be getting late, and this is run for a while, do we want to pause it, save, and then reconvene some time? Yeah. Oh, so, uh, we can do that? Yeah. You can oh. Game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, let's finish this. this. I don't mean to exaggerate, Your Highness, but I believe I have... What is that word? Pioneered, okay. <laughs> thought there was an apple there. Pioneered the most incredible inven invention in the history of mankind. I was hosting a small party, playing cards with some old friends. I called for a servant to bring me something to eat that was both tasty and convenient, as my hands were occupied. What my servant brought me that evening will change the world forever. Your Majesty. It sounds like your servant invented it. I, I, I was thinking it sounded like your servant, if you know what I mean. Uh, I, he's my employee, so I own the idea. That's only fair. I, okay, I made him sign away his stuff. Behold! Oh, do I say this part too? Okay. He holds in the air a plate. Atop the plate are two slices of bread with a piece of meat wedged between them. That's a sandwich. It allows for the hungry noble to consume two slices of bread plus meat all at once, saving valuable time. And since they use bread as napkins, or at least some cultures did in this time frame, it would be saving time in that as well. You can eat whatever you wipe off. This is a godsend. If this doesn't elevate religion, then that's blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the bread serves as an impenet impenetrable, I think, in bed, preventing in okay, <laughs> preventing one's hands from being besmirched by the meaty juices. Well, what if oh, I like the meaty juices? You can still eat it. Genius. Naturally, since this is my invention, I propose we name it after me. Oh gosh. 
In a few years' time, I expect everybody to be enjoying at least Keeper of Quaggy's Rizzle Oh, but no! You should have been named Hot Doug. If I just left it at Corgi, that'd be also pretty bad. <laughs> but naturally, this invention cannot be made available for free. Every time a Keeper of Quaggy's is consumed, I shall... I shall expect a small royalty payment. Jesus. Yes, give Keeper of Corgi the royalties he deserves. No, Keeper of Corgi's are too delicious to be controlled. Keeper of Corgi shall receive a one-time reward from the treasury instead. The servant should be rewarded instead. What was his name again? I will kill him before this finishes. <laughs> okay. Patent. Uh, what? Ah. Yep. <laughs> C would be the equivalent of patenting. Or patenting. Give me the royalties I deserve. This is my attention after all. The servant should be rewarded instead. What was his name again? Oh, he wasn't a part of this. Let, let's do D. There oh, are no. two asses in Keeper of Corgis at the moment. <laughs> Keeper of Corgis. Oh, hmm. What are you going to choose, Shane? I'm worried about defiance going down. I do have to worry about defiance. But also, there's no undefined enemy in the moon trade that... What are you going to do? No, I, I am the people's king here. So... The food is named after me! Oh. Heck yeah. Oh, right. Good God. He wouldn't have invented this snack if I hadn't specifically requested a convenient meal. Despite the bear and keeper of Corgi's protestations, the servant is brought before you. Oh, hello, your majesty. Most people call me footlong. <laughs> I am... <laughs> I'm pretty sure the fee isn't the reason why he's called footlong, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Keeper of Corgi's, please have to keep me some dignity. No. Oh, I like the foot on sandwich. Uh, foot on, I like that. <laughs> it is a tiny bastard. This innovative dish shall be known as a foot long. I'd like to taste oh. his meaty juices if you know what I mean. I, oh no. Uh, <laughs> right, well, uh, I mine. <laughs> they made it too easy to make these jokes. They made it too easy. I don't know why trade on the Baron's half just went up to nine, but I'm fine with that. Well, uh, that was good. Yes. All right. Go. Well, yeah. Bye. Six. See ya. See ya. Alrighty. Actually, I'm gonna stop watching him. There we go. That was cool. Yeah. Thank you all for joining yeah. this christen christening out of the kingdom. Yeah. Hopefully we will have a chance to do this once, or maybe even twice more, in the future times. Wait, Shane. Yeah. Wait, so, who, who all joined? Uh, 